Hello, this is Tom from Tom and Ruth Healthy Lifestyle. Today we're going to talk about rice. The pros and cons actually of rice. Uh, is it good for you? Is it bad for you? <clears throat> Things to think about. Uh, and recently I found out, uh, you know, I wasn't feeling well. And I started doing some research on uh, the rice we're getting. Asking around town and where we're getting it from. We're presently buying rice from Vietnam. It's a... It seems to be just a little bit better quality rice. <clears throat> it's actually pretty good. But the thing the thing that uh, I noticed is that uh, I was looking at some of the things about uh, talking to people around in the doctor. And they seem to say that sometimes the rice, depending on where it's coming from here in the Philippines, may contain contaminants. And so today we're going to talk about that in the video. So uh, stay tuned. So as soon as I find my intro here. You know, today we're going to look at this. Uh, thank you guys for coming on, and I really appreciate it. We always appreciate your support. Uh, today we're going to look at rice and the benefits about rice, the pros and cons. There are pros and cons on both sides about rice. Rice is really good because it gives you the carbohydrates uh, that you need, and it's really good. Ruth, Ruth and I limit our rice uh, to a couple meals a day. We were eating it three times a day. And I noticed, we're both noticing we're not feeling well and things like this. So, <clears throat> so we started looking at things like, for example, rice. How much sugar does it turn into after you digest it? So we looked at that today. Uh, they're broken down into sugar and it turns into 22 teaspoons of sugar. A serving of rice, 90 grams, is one cup. It's found 22 teaspoons of sugar after it's digested into your body. <clears throat> that'll increase your blood sugar which and that's just on one cup a lot of people eat three to five cups eight cups per meal this is why you need to be very careful uh, of course doc told me uh, one cup a day and I was eating it a lot Ruth and I got to the point where well, every meal is rice there's not anything else to try here limited limited sources of food so the best option, if you can find it, is basmati, and we can't. I can't find it here. I have to have it shipped in. Re replace your usual rice, either brown rice or black rice, and or basmati rice. Basmati, where you have the whiter brown, has the lower glycemic index, contains just as many carbohydrates as white rice, and it won't spike your blood levels as high. And there's misprints in here when I wrote this up, so excuse me. So, uh, but it's really something to take a look at if you are. If you're had pre-diabetic, if you can find basmati, that's the thing that you need to find. Uh, if you have diabetes or trying to lose weight, prevent. It can actually uh, enhance or deter whether it's high or low. Add vegetables and fish to help. Of course, everybody knows this. Uh, of course, you eat uh, rice and cause constipation. I went into this. White rice because the process is and goes prolonged shelf life. And it has little fiber value. Uh, your brown rice, your, like I said, the uh, the basmati, the uh, they even had red rice for diabetics here. So the white rice is really, really, really good. Simple carbs, white rice turns into carbs, and that's the reason I gained a lot of weight. Uh, so I know that I need to lose that weight, and so we, we're taking a look at that. Yeah, highly refined uh, wheat. And there's many people here that are fighting diabetes. It's a constant struggle. White rice is highly processed, and it it is actually it tastes okay for me. It fills you up, but there's no except nutritional value. It does give you vitamin B. Uh, it's kind of tough, you know, as you're living here. It's hard to find some of the foods. It's filling. But we sometimes replace, uh, we get garbanzos, we can get those. Uh, we can't really find a lot of other things. We, we can get onions now a little bit on and off. Potatoes, sometimes, not all the time. Broccoli, cauliflower, sometimes, not all the time, meaning um, a month or two a year. When eating rice becomes mucus within the stomach, finding it weakly weakens its acid. This means eating white rice to stomach ulcers and heartburn. 
Now, I have had it to where I was getting heartburn from it, and it got to the point where I had to just completely stop eating. Uh, it, yeah, eating rice, you're not going to lose weight. <laughs> I always, always, the conception of eating rice will help me lose weight. Well, no, it's, it's caused me to gain weight because, as you know, your body says, hey, uh, you're trying to lose weight. We're going to keep some of this fat in here and, and you know, the carbs and the sugar and all this. Uh, so you'll gain weight with, by eating. Uh, yeah, metabolic sim syndrome. This group of factors increase potential heart disease stroke or type 2 is called metabolic syndrome. And I looked into that also. It took me a while to find some of these picks. While rye rice is delicious, it sometimes can cause the overeating. Uh, it's hard not to love the taste of rice. To me, it, it's uh, tasteless. But I always add uh, like curry or I'll add uh, some chili or paprika. I'll make my own mix of chili, paprika, salt, uh, just a little bit of salt, a little pepper, and put that in my rice. Uh, rice is such a versatile and tasty dish. And a lot of people just eat it. Of course, white rice, and I put this in because beans is a uh, big factor. If you have beans, uh, high fiber. White rice, low in protein, yeah. So, I'll let you guys listen to this a second. I don't have to be talk all the time. Yeah. There are many people. You may be allergic to rice and don't know it. And uh, I constantly wondered about that with me. Itchy, runny nose, uh, skin rash, stomach ache, and I have that. And when I eat a lot of rice, so I had to stop. I, I had to stop eating the, the rice completely. So I try to exchange it with other stuff, beans and stuff, if I have it. If not, uh, I will eat the beans, and the girls will eat the rice. If we have just little little beans, uh, they have beans here, uh, but they're they're uh, they're too old. So simply switch to brown or white or basmati. Also, I found that uh, depending where the rice fields are, uh, because of uh, species and things like that, it may contaminate the soil and or pesticides running off the mountains, pesticides and chemicals, weed killers, things like that, fertilizer. Fertilizers full of contaminants. So you need to always be aware of Make sure you rinse, 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 even though you're taking the nutrients out of the rice, uh, but it can actually help you in the long run. Uh, choose, make sure it's really low in arsenic, which is the, the black or the red. And it does, it saves so many lives across the world. It is the world's lifesaver for food. So uh, you have to really, really be aware of that. 